And about the last album, Circles of Doom, is it a direct sequel to No More Hollywood Ends or it's an isolated work? How do you work on the themes for the albums? Well, actually, the themes develop during the uh, making of the album. Like, it's never, we don't start with a theme. We always start with the music. So we, the the first pri priority is always to make great songs and then it kind of evolves from that and it's it's like a sculpture i think like like mm -hmm. something that you don't even decide that what it's going to be the the end result but it will uh you know <laughs> it it will come along the way and also uh i've noticed that now that we have like um like uh, we already are making the seventh album for Battle Beast. We are writing the songs. I already get these uh, visual ideas. I'm like very visual person. So I get all these visual ideas and I'm already designing the new outfit for myself mm -hmm. and, and, you know, uh, developing that. And then um, I, I get so much inspired, uh, like inspired by the songs the guys write, and also the, the you know, I always trust my intuition. So if my intuition says that go for that, then I usually want to listen to that because it's usually right. <laughs> 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 but but it, you know, like it, like I I always uh, tell people that. Uh, Listen to your intuition and your gut feeling because usually that in in good and in bad, it's usually right. <laughs> so great. Uh, some something I love about the Battle Beast is the instrumental. Sometimes even dancing, and blend yeah. your blend your drive voice. Do you have some sort of formula to compose, or ah, is just something just came up uh, came up naturally um it's uh, a part of metal eh? right <laughs> well i i think it's because of uh you know we have different influences from different styles in music like for example janne our keyboard player who is also our uh producer uh he's got a really uh strong pop background he's like really uh into into pop music and 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 also heavy metal music but i think uh this is why i think he th this is just my theory now i'm not this is not like certain thing but my theory of this is that he's 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 got these strong influences from pop music so he's uh, very much uh fond of making those pop kind of uh and adding some pop elements into the songs and then then we have Jona, our guitar player who makes this also like Eden and Beyond the Burning Skies and Eye of the Storm with pop influences, but more balladic way and, and kind of beautiful guitar yeah. parts uh, with a lot of shredding and then melodic singing parts. And this is something that, and he really loves when I'm singing with the soft voice. So th this is something that he likes to compose songs for me, uh, for my, so you know, for the soft voice. And then Eero, our bass player, makes songs that are like true power metal, I think, like or or with a classic rock kind of style that he really you can hear the the musical influences that he's got. And he really uh, does very straightforward music like, uh, you know, straight to the heart and and um. <laughs> or uh, or hero that's also era song so it's really straightforward power metal or classic rock and i really love this combination it's like a mm -hmm. dance between these different genres combining together and because i love to dance it's beautiful you know <laughs> I, can, <laughs> I can dance and i can do heavy metal and i can do all the things that i have always uh, dreamed of doing so it's it's really really nice <laughs> yeah. 